So here we go. I'm Christophe Godin. I'm very, very happy to be here in China. We just finished a wonderful tour with uh, the people of Great Wall. We did that for Laney. We visited eight different cities and it was fun all the way through. I really enjoyed doing that and I really look forward to coming back to China and to visit some more cities. And, um, you know, so far it's been just perfect. We had fantastic food. We met fantastic players. I had the chance to jam with a lot of Chinese players. Every city and every uh, every place that we visited just welcomed me the best possible way. And uh, I've been surrounded with fantastic people. So, uh, so I'm probably the happiest Frenchman at the moment. Kiamen. We did. Uh, that's a tricky one for me to pronounce. But Lian Yongang. Ah, uh, I made it wrong. Help me, you can do that online. Lian Yungang. Ah, that's what I said. Lian Yungang. Oh, my pronunciation was bad. We made Suzhou, we made Wuxi, we did Nanning, we did Shangsha, and we did Guangzhou. And Kunming! Shame on me, I forgot Kunming. The country is so wide, there are so many different things, there are so many different cultures, and everywhere the food has been different. But I can tell you one thing as a Frenchman. For us, the food culture is very important. And I really had the feeling that I was traveling every day in some different country just by the food itself. And then of course there was the people, there was, there was the places we visited. But, but to be fair, every city has uh, its own culture and it's been like a wonderful trip through the food too. Well, there's been some crazy moments. Uh, the great thing is that we were a little group of five people and uh, so at the end of when you spend like 10 days together with five people you kind of get very comfortable with everyone we we had a lot of times where we were just laughing for nothing because at some point you get comfortable with everyone so you you tend to have uh, to have a very cool relationship and also i had some uh, weird questions here and there uh, some people asking me whether i was married or um, if i if i liked Chinese girls. Uh, what did I have? Somebody wanted to sing with me. <laughs> I sung a, a girl sung a song with me, and it was a song I didn't even know. Uh, well, there were lots of little crazy moments like that, and uh, that's what made it enjoyable also because there were always some unexpected things happening, uh, but always in a good way. There was no bad uh, bad feelings or bad bad moments. It was all very. Uh, you know, very easy going, so uh, yeah, so far it's been fantastic.
audience was really, really different from places to places, but there was one common thing. There was a lot, a lot of kids and uh, children. And this is my seventh time in China. And that's the very first time that I have seen that many young people at the venues. And uh, they were really interacting. They were really interested in the music and not only here, just because there was something happening. They were really into it. And um, I guess it's refreshing to have that kind of a new audience that is slowly growing up in China because that proves that the, uh, the, the uh, let's say, the population is really changing and is really, uh, uh, yes, it's refreshing. Uh, they, they are very dynamic. They are very into uh, looking forward to hearing some new stuff. I was surprised also that there were many girls because when you're touring in Europe and you're making clinics, most of the time you just have men and mostly players. Here it was really more popular. There were some family, family people, so you had you know a wife, a husband, and a child. And no, it's great. It was it was really different from what I've experienced in the past. Nowadays there's no more difference. Uh, when we talk about levels, there's no more difference in between Western players and uh, Asian players. I mean, the level is very high everywhere, thanks to internet, thanks to the fact that people are traveling a lot more. And uh, what I really appreciated is that most of the guitar players that I've played with during this tour are really into tone. They're not just trying to play as fast as possible, they are really trying to think about the sound that they have they are melodic, they have, uh, they have a good attitude on stage and uh, it's hard to say if one is better than the others because some players were really heavy, heavy metal players, uh, others were more like fusion players, so it was kind of a, of a mix and um, I can just say one thing and I'm not being polite when I say this, I really mean it, I've had great, a great time with all of them because Every time it was different, there was an interaction, there was something entertaining, so uh, yeah, all in all, uh, it, it's, been, uh, it's been really good to, to meet those people and to get a chance to play with them. There's one thing you have to do, it's to go on YouTube and check Mucus, M-U-C-U-S. And if you don't, I'll find you. And if I find you, you're gonna have a very hard time with me, okay?